Hey everyone, so it is Anthony Sarandino. I am going to be solving problem 23 on the dimensional analysis sheet here, okay? So the question reads, convert 50 years into seconds, express your answer in scientific notation, okay? So I'm gonna look at 50 years as um, 50.0, so three significant figures. Um, you'll find out why a little bit later. So before I even get started, you know, Looking at this problem, you're going from a large unit years to a very small unit seconds, okay? It's gonna take a lot of seconds to fill up 50 years. So let's just keep that in mind that the number is probably going to be large, especially um, the answer in scientific notation. We know we're gonna be dealing with kind of an extreme number, okay? So before we get started, there was one conversion factor that I needed to clarify. So you can see down here at the bottom left of the screen, so this was my conversion to find out how many days were in a year, you know, generally 365. But if we want to be more exact, uh, given in four years, you know, three of those years will be 365 days. One of them will be 366. Taking that average, we're getting 365.25, which is what we're going to use. Okay. All right. So up on the left here, we're going to start with 50 years. What I like to do for problems like this is just kind of put that over one just to show that that is in the numerator. Okay. And then we're just going to multiply a bunch of different numbers based on what we know. Okay. So 50 years over one. Now we're going to be canceling and you cancel when you have a unit in the numerator and a unit anywhere else kind of in your equation here. Uh, in the denominator. So we know years are going to be at the denominator here. All right, so what is our logical calculation that we're going to do here? So what can I break years into? Well, I can break years into days, right? That's what we see in the bottom here. So I know that 365.25 days equals one year. Now, keep in mind, you don't want to use months here, obviously, because uh, months all have different days. So that's really not going to help you. Okay. All right. So we're going to keep going here. So we, we're just going to take days and we know we're going to put days down here so that it will cancel up. Uh, so what can we break days into? We can break days into hours. So we know 24 hours equals one day. I'm going to keep Gonna keep that going here. Gonna put hours down here. We know that one hour equals 60 minutes. Okay, we know minutes are gonna go down here. So one minute equals 60 seconds. All right, and seconds, that is what we're looking for. So that's all we need right there. So before we do this, we can cancel units and make sure that we're going to get what, uh, what we're looking for, which is seconds. So I'm gonna go through here. I can see years are gonna cancel with years. I know days are gonna cancel with days. I know hours will cancel with hours. And I know minutes will cancel with minutes. So that only leaves one unit left, which are the seconds here, okay? So this looks pretty good. So I'm going to head and I'm gonna put this in my calendar or in my calculator. So I'm gonna do, and because there I have ones all the way across the board on the denominators, I don't need to really include those. So I'm just gonna do 50 times 365.25 times 24 times 60 times 60, so just check that, 50 times 365.25 times 24 times 60 times 60. All right, so the answer that we're gonna get, I'm gonna write it out uh, longhand here just so we have it. And that's gonna be one, five, seven, seven, eight, eight, with four zeros, one, two, three, four. So one, five, seven, seven, eight, eight, Zero, 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 zero. Let's throw some commas on there. So like we predicted, this is a large number. A lot of seconds have to go into 50 years. So this makes sense, okay? Now, we want to express our answer in scientific not notation. We did say we were going to use three significant figures. So we have one, two, three. So that seven would round uh, to an eight because of the seven to the right of it. So we know that that's going to be one, 
0.58. That's three significant figures, and we're going to use scientific not notation for the rest. So if we're putting the decimal point here, we know it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1.58 times 10 to the 9th seconds. Um, all right, so that is going to be our final answer here. 1.58 times 10 9th seconds. And we'll double check that. The answer that is written is 1.58 times 10 to the 9th seconds. And that matches up. So there you have it.